Hello, my name is Kevin Natar and I work with PMC Remedy Force product team. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to troubleshoot service level agreement a SLA issue in Remedy Force. So the activity that we're going to look into are identifying why SLA did not fire on a record, an incident record, why was a wrong SLA fire and not receiving emails via SLA milestone. So let's log into Remedy Force. So let's look into our first activity that is identify why SLA did not fire on a record. So select Remedy Force console, open up a record where SLA should have been fired. So the SLA service target is grayed out. That means the SLA did not fire. Let's select Remedy Force administration tab. Go to manage workflow and other processes. Open up the agreement, SLA agreements. Open up the agreement which should have been fired. First is see the service, if a service is filled up, so a service is blank. The next step is account. It does not matter if an account is there or blank. See the effective until, so it is 2018, so that's fine. The hours. And select the service target so the service target title has a qualification see the qualification has category as hardware so you can go back to the record so the service is blank and the qualification the category is wrong so let's make it as hardware so, so click on save and now SLA service target is blue that means the SLA has been fired so you can look at the SLA it should show the SLA that has been fired and the clock has not been started because it is on a pending state the status so now let's look into the second phase that is why was a wrong SLA fired and how to identify it. So on the record, select the service target. Look at the agreement, that is category. Look at the agreement title, that is K1. Looking at this, you can compare the different agreements. That is, if you go into an agreements, so the agreement type was category the agreement title was cat1 so this is the SLA which got fired so depending on this qualification you, come, you can compare it with the record so let's look into the next phase that is not receiving email via SLA milestone for this select remedy force administration tab go to application settings general application settings see if the milestone is started so here the milestone is stopped so click on start click on save and this should start the emails to get going uh, for an email address this is the default one if you want to have a new email address set up you can set up the organization wide email address for that you can go to setup on the quick find you can write organization wide email address selected here you can click on add here you can add the display name email address click on the profile that you want to have it so once verified it will be available for the email from email address for the SLA milestone you can select it and click on save I hope this video was useful for you. I would like to thank you for watching it.